to another episode of Que Pasa. I'm joined here at this lovely patio with Lauren Falco from Destination El Paso. And we are back at Deserto Pizzeria, yes. but this time at a brand new location. Lauren, I'm gonna pass you this mic across the pass table. It over, check it out. Um, yes, so we are at Deserto Palo Verde, which is the west side uh, location, the brand new west side location for Deserto Pizza. Now you may remember the very first one that we did was at Desert though. So it's almost a, a full rotation here. Um, but what's really cool about this place, of course, is number one, they have a beautiful patio. Number two, they have a beautiful inside. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's very like desert, Palo Santo, like very pretty uh, desert vibes. And so it's gonna be a really cool place to get great pizza. Uh, they're gonna expand, expand their menu a little bit so you'll have more options. Um, and it's very conveniently located on the west side over by Hobby Lobby. So a great place to get food. Something that we talked about earlier in Que Pasa, but now the time has come officially for the Plaza Classic Film Festival. Tell us more about it. Plaza Classic Film Festival, we've mentioned before, of course, it's a staple in downtown El Paso at the Plaza Theater. It happens annually um, in late summer. Um, and so we're really excited to have it come back. Number one, because there's an incredible guest coming this year, Sissy Spacek from Carrie, from a million other movies I can't think of right now, but she's incredible. And uh, Mia Sorvino, Romeo and Michelle's High School Reunion, she just got announced. And then there's also just really great movies throughout the two weeks. Uh, they also do live performances, the U Rock Kids Camp is going to perform. There's just a lot of really fun entertainment happening in downtown El Paso for the next two weeks. So highly, highly suggest if you haven't gone already to plazaclassic.com, go get your tickets, go see the schedule. Definitely lots of things going on downtown. We also have Al Fresco, and this time it's country music. And we know El Paso loves country. Yeah, so Al Fresco Country Nights, uh, you know, obviously Al Fresco is a brand new, kind of brand new music series. It was a standard, it was Al Fresco Fridays for a very long time. And it's a really exciting night of like, great music from Brian Mars in West Texas. Um, and then they're also gonna have really great specials on beer, on wine, on drinks. Uh, we have food trucks coming out. It's just gonna be a really fun night. It's really relaxed. You can bring your own chairs um, and that's happening on Friday uh, at the Convention Center Plaza. Boxing at the Lake, it's happening at Escarate um, on July 20th, and it is a fully sanctioned USA boxing event. Uh, they're gonna have like 25 bouts. Um, go check that out, that's Escarate Park on July 20th. Two things we love on Que Pasa, dogs and coffee, and there's an event that combines both of them. It truly is the perfect event for us. Um, you know, our, our uh, alumna, uh, Glia's is going to have an incredible event called Coffee and Canines and what's awesome about it is that they're going to offer pet vaccinations which go get your pets vaccinated if you have not already and then on top of that they're also going to have dog adoption drive so that they're raising money of course you can meet dogs we love to see all the little doggies out there so come check that out that's happening july 20th at glia's another one of favorites uh, on kipasa harry potter. We're harry potter and we're combining it with baseball which is awesome fun for the whole family um, so yeah this is harry potter night at southwest university park um, obviously we've seen how incredible the merch is that southwest university park and the chihuahuas and the locomotives produce it's gonna be a really cool night with harry Potter scars for the first 1500 that come in um, and of course they're gonna have sorting hat caps available that you can add on to your ticket so it's a perfect night for all the Potter heads or potheads as you want to be called <laughs> um, to go out and, and support Southwest University Park and the Chihuahuas. Lauren thank you so much for joining us as always and thank you for being here as well if you need any more information on any events dates or times go to visit elpaso.com and we'll see you again next week.